so I guess this is the norm now where half of every team in, in the country turns over. What, what's the offseason like compared to five years ago? You know, it's always been busy. It's just a, a different kind of busy. And, um, you know, we've been, the last couple of weeks, been pretty busy in the portal and talking to kids and just trying to vet them out and, you know, see who might be a good fit for us. And so I um, had a couple visits in, and now we've got a recruiting shutdown coming up. So it's kind of the, the timing of it's interesting because now we can't uh, call, receive calls, um, any kind of text messaging for about a week, and then you pick back up. So got a few more lined up. Um, you always want to make sure you got the tickets bought and they're lined up for the visits. Uh, following that dead period, but it's been busy, but really good. I'm, I'm really excited about uh, some of the prospects that we're talking to, and um, a lot of options out there for sure. A, a lot of coaches the last couple weeks have said this is not sustainable with the transfers and NIL stuff, which I don't know if, if how much that NIL has come into play on your end at this point, but do you see something having to change? I don't know if you have ideas what it is. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. Uh, it, it, it has come into play with women's basketball, and I, I hope there's some kind of adjustment, and I don't have the answers. I don't. Um, but it is a little bit of the wild, wild west right now, and, and um, I just I think there's got to be a better way. I, I don't know what it is. I don't have the answers for it. But it's, it's crazy times right now for sure. You know, it's really um, become somewhat of a transactional business. And that just is not my heart posture. I'm all about transformation. I'm all about teaching life lessons and preparing our young players to be successful in life. And unapologetically so. Um, I care a lot about our players and I will continue to really pour into who they are as an individual as well as a basketball player. I know you have to look for assistant coach too. Uh, what, what's the process? Yeah, we're, we're done. I'm fired up. Yeah, so you know, it's you always got to find that right fit. And, uh, Ashley and I've known Ashley since she was 16 years old, and she played for me. And so, uh, obviously, uh, you know, hate to see her go, but excited. She's moving back home and going to be about five miles from her mom, which is huge for her. She hasn't been back since her playing days uh, at Illinois State. And so, you know, as a coach, you're so excited when one of your assistants gets a chance to spread their wings and take on that role. Um, but, you know, we talked to quite a few people and um, really excited. Uh, we should be having an announcement here soon, but I feel like we found a phenomenal fit. Somebody that's had great experience, played the WNBA, played professionally, and uh, is really invested in, in teaching and mentoring young kids. And so I'm really excited about who we've been able to pick up. Can you just speak a little bit about the event today and just like your thoughts about it? Recruiting trail, season ticket holders, bringing the fans uh, excited for the upcoming Yeah, season. you know what? I think this is phenomenal. I, I we, we need to do it more often. You know, it's been fun to be a part of these caravans and travel and meet, um, you know, those that live a little bit further away, alumni, boosters, um, supporters of our athletic department and program. And, but I think there's going to be an investment right here in Columbia, too, right? And, and I was just visiting with some of our, our boosters and um, it's like during the games it's so hard you know you got so much going on during the season but when you have an event like this where you can kind of lay your hair down and just um, you know just talk life and, and uh, spend some quality time with them I think it's awesome so we appreciate our fans we appreciate the Mizzou uh, nation and anytime we get a chance to spend some time outside of the arena I think it's phenomenal. Obviously, the major transfer news was Asia Blackwell. How do you replace a player like her on your team? Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely miss her. I love Asia. I wish her nothing but the very best. Um, but it's a team sport, and so other players are going to have to step up. I, I really like the group that we have. They've had an incredible April. So we get uh, to work out with them eight hours a week, uh, usually four in the weight room, four on the court, and um, throughout the month of April. And so it's been fun to be back in the gym. They've worked really hard. Um, you know, she's a unique uh, player. She's so talented, and so it's going to be have to be by committee. Uh, I'm really excited about our incoming freshmen, and then, like I said, I think we'll add a couple out of that portal. So, um, you know, everyone's going to have to step up for sure. Building off last year, obviously, the team wins. Uh, how do you continue that momentum going December and make sure you don't lose? Really yeah, no, we had some really big wins, and we had some really tough losses. Um, you know, everyone wants to talk about the South Carolina win, and obviously a, a great win, and really excited about it, but. Um, you know, we want to, we're, we're excited about the growth that we had from two years ago, 
but not even close to being satisfied. And these girls are hungry. I mean, March 13th was a tough day for us. We had a selection show party and, you know, felt like we were in. And, and when you put yourself in a bubble situation, you know, you set yourself up for, um, you know, just for somebody else to make that decision. And so that one hurt. That stung quite a bit. But I know it's been a motivating piece for us uh, in the month of April, and it will continue to be in the offseason. I appreciate you guys.